So here we have the impossible crossing and in here we've got the brand new mini crawler that everybody is talking about. So I want to see how good it is compared to my other favourite mini indoor crawlers on the world's best mini indoor crawler track. So we're going to do it with this one first. This one here is a severely modified Axial SCX24. We're going to see if we can do the course first and then we'll have a look at it and then we're going to try the other crawlers and compare it to the brand new FX118 that everybody is talking about. Uh oh. Ah! Oh. Uh, I think we've got to sort this out. All right, try again. I'll tell you what, as capable as this one is, it is a little bit top heavy. We're going to show you that in a minute. Let's see if we can complete this course. It should be able to do it. So this here, almost no crawlers can make it up at all. All I want to do is flip backwards. Ah, hand of God. So someone actually asked in the comment, what's a hand of God? Well, a hand of God is when you just come in and you've got to recover it by hand. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys, the viewers, to comment down below and let me know in the comments how many hands of God each car had. And also let me know in the comments which car you think performed the best. You guys are the viewers. You guys are the judges. Last challenge. Here we have an angle meter. I want to see which one can go up the steepest. This one here is quite top heavy, so let's get it down to 45 degrees to start with. I believe for anything to even be classed as a crawler, it has to do at least 45 degrees. If you can't do that, it's not a crawler. Right, let's go. Hey, there we go, easy. So let's keep putting this up steeper. Oh, 48 degrees, bit more, 51. Oh! Oh, guys, that awful audio there was this microphone here. When it's working, the audio comes out really crisp and nice. But for some reason, to be able to listen to it, you've got to pull it out the phone and then plug it back in. And every time you plug it in, you've got the risk of it messing up the audio and sounding like it just did. So now, I've just got to say all that lot, what I just said again, but without this microphone. If anybody knows a good microphone solution for the iPhone, let me know in the comments. This is the microphone I used to use in my old iPhone, but that's got the old connection in there. So with the new iPhone, it's actually USB-C, so I've got an adapter there to put onto it. However, it doesn't pick it up, so no idea what's going on. Anyway, what I was saying, and back to the built-in microphone, so it might sound a little bit muffled, but anyway, that was the modified SEX24. So it's based on one of these. This one here is a stock one. So if we have a little look in here, it's got a metal steel chassis just like on a real crawler it's got four link suspension plastic live axles and a brushed motor now if we go over to the modified one this one here furry tech brushless motor and gearbox trill metal axles now if you look at these these ones here are actually portal axles that means you get a lot more diff clearance if we go back to the stock one look at that you can get one finger underneath the differential now we go over to the portal axles we can get two fingers under there. And if we go over to the mighty grave digger, we can get a whole fist under there. Anyway, now let's see how well the stock one did. And then in a minute, we're gonna have a look at this brand new crawler that everybody is talking about. So here we go, stock SEX24. Now, disadvantage here straight away, there's no rear wheel steering. And also I've got to drive one handed. When I drove this one here, we're running it on this radio and I had the phone in there. So I had two hands on it. Right, let's see how we can maneuver this. Ah! There goes the first hand of God. Oh no! This one here is a little bit narrower than the other crawler, so that is probably a disadvantage. I can't go quite as slowly with this one. A bit of manoeuvring on top of the grave digger roof. Should get down there a bit nicer because of the lower centre of gravity, and yes, we did. But now, you've got to shunt it forward and backwards a few times to get it to line up, and we've got less ground clearance underneath. 
Oh, it did it! Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, nearly, nearly! Oh, yes! Very gently back it up to get off of that ledge. Straighten up, and now. Bit of shunting forwards and backwards to get it to turn. So there we go, with that differential hanging down low. Oh, we need a hand of God. What I say, with that differential hanging down low, it does hit obstacles. Come on, ah, oh. hand of God. This one might actually have more of a chance of doing this one here because it's lower centre of gravity, but we haven't got the grip with the tyres. Not doing it. Maybe one up. No, another hand of God. I'm losing count here. Comment down below how many hands of God. I can't remember now. It's been too many. All right, here we go. It's making it. Come on. The articulation test. Look at that. Way less articulation and it makes it way less stable. It's more likely to fall over when it doesn't articulate. And now here we've got a shunt because there's no rear wheel steering, but it should make the rest of this really easy. And I'm guessing by the time we get over to that hill climb, it's going to do it steeper because we've got a lower centre of gravity. Oh! So not really much difference. So although the upgraded one's got a higher centre of gravity, because it's got metal housing, it's sort of putting the weight back down again. Anyway, next, let's try the Devastator. That's if we can get it working. I think last time we used it, it didn't work. So he's been on charge for the past hour. The radio's on, so now let's turn the car on. So this one here's also got four wheel steering. No portals though, so only one finger. And it appears to not be working. Come on. So this one doesn't work, but this one here does work. It's exactly the same. However, this one here, it's got RC four wheel drive tyres on it. Which ones are they? The Scramblers. So it gives us a little bit more diff clearance. So front steering, four wheel steering, crab steering, and rear steer only. In here, I've got this crawler here, and I've put a camera on there. And then in here, I've got some FPV stuff, so you can look at it through some goggles. So in a minute, we might see if we can get that to work. Not promising anything, though. No. Might not work. Right, here we go. This one's got four-wheel steering, so you should be able to make it round here quite easily. I would imagine. Maybe not. But now we can go rear steer only, just to get that back end round. Oh, it's a bit slidey, those tyres on there, actually. Oh, no. This is on the verge of falling down. Right, let's go with crab steering. We'll steer both wheels over and very ah! there we go first hand of god i think the issue is the rear steering is not fully centered looks it's making it come off not really a fault of the car more of a fault of setup so now four wheel steering and we should be able to maneuver it around there one go and oh ah! even though it fell over no hands of god don't forget to keep tabs. Write in the comments down below how many hands of God each car is using. I'm not sure if the rear steer is actually helping here or making it worse. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. Yes. Straight over, look at that. Oh, easy. It's making way too easy work on that. Look at that. Little shunt there. Oh no! I think that was more due to driver error. So now let's turn the rear steering off. I think that's probably why, because sometimes it does kick the rear end off of the obstacles. Right, there we go. This one here, I don't think it's going to do. Only really low centre of gravity corners can do this one. I do not think that this one's got it in it. No. Nope. Oh, look God. Now the rest of it should be pretty easy. Articulation test. Oh, it's flexing quite well. Look at that. Rear steer back on and... Oh. Nearly. This is still one of my favourite all-time crawlers. I'm going to put a link down below if I can find one. I'm not sure if they still make it, but if they do, you have to get one. Right, wouldn't go up that steep. So, so far on the steepness test, we're still winning on the SCX24 Modified. Right, here we go, the car that everybody has been talking about. So this is Fury Tech. Here's all the techno babble, but I'm not going to bore you with all that. So I'm just going to put a link down below where you can get all the techno babble from and where you can buy one from. So straight away, I can see it's got portal axles, so we can get nearly two fingers in there. However, we can't quite because the wheels are actually a bit smaller. So we're going to run it on these first, and then I want to try these bigger wheels if we can make them fit on there. So let's have a little looky inside. Four body clips, holds on the lid. Got some lights on top there. Tiny little brushless motor. Aluminium chassis. It looks to have oil filled shocks, which is very rare. All these other crawlers, friction shocks or just springs. There's not really anything there. It's just boing, 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 boing. Look at this one here. 
actually got damping. So 2S LiPo there, receiver there, actual mounted servo. Here's the controller, so we've got to get batteries in. So positive, positive, negative, negative. A bit like the haters. <laughs> so we turn it on here. Here we got the steering, here we got triggered. Yep, a bit like the haters. So let's plug in the car. And then is there an on switch somewhere? Ah. Oh, look, there we got the headlights. So here we got steering trim. Here we got steering sensitivity. Yep, a bit like the haters. So there we got low sensitivity. If we turn it up, look at that, high sensitivity. Wow, look at the amount of steering we get with this bad boy. And power. So here we've got no rear wheel steering, so we are gonna struggle getting it to turn round. But it does have a lot of steering lock, so for no rear wheel steer, Ah. Another thing to note is the wheelbase of this thing. Here's the SCX24 stock. Put that next to there. Look how much longer this one is. Anyway, hand to God number one. Look how slow you can go. That's going to be really good for crawling. You wait till we get to the crawler section. Now, the long wheelbase is going to help in some scenarios and be worse in others. At the moment, I think it's helping. That was easy, and the hill. Oh, tumble wumble. But now let's see how well it's gonna do it if we go down straight. I'm guessing it's gonna be really good. I think it's gonna be really good on that as well. See you in a minute. Oh, look at that, straight down. The long wheelbase is helping. Look at that steering lock. Even though it's long wheelbase, the turning circle for no rear wheel steering is really good. We're gonna see in a minute how well this does with bigger wheels on it. I'm thinking with the big wheels, it's gonna be really good. So here, the long wheelbase is maybe not helping, and the stock tires. They're not the grippiest, but it's got power. Let's see how fast it goes, actually. Full speed. That's quite fast for a crawler. Right, anyway, we've got to get over this. No. Uh-oh. Oh, no. We've lost drive to that wheel. Oh, dear. What has happened? Have we killed it? Something's gone wrong with it. I'm not sure what. All right, well, let's put him on there and carry on. Hopefully, it's going to work. That was a handy god there. Hopefully gonna hold up the rest of the track. Something is slipping inside that differential unit. Look at that, that wheel's not driving, look. Oh no. Oh, but it still did it. Wow, it did that in three wheel drive. All right. Straight down there, probably easy, because it's long. Oh, actually not as good as I thought it was gonna be. Rock crawler section, I'm guessing it's gonna not do well here. Let's have a look to see what went wrong with it. It's got these little things on here. Get that off and see what's up with that. A quick look at this, and then let's see if we get the camera car to work. You can actually put the goggles on, drive this around, looking at the goggles, it's gonna look realistic. So let's see what happens. Let's get that wheel off and have a look to see what's going on. Next up, let's get this portal gear cover off and have a little look in there. I'm guessing the problem's gonna be in there. So looking in there, we got metal gears. This is all metal, it's all metal in there. I don't know why it should be slipping. Put it back together and see what happens. So we've got these shock pliers here. I'm just gonna hold that axle with these, then rev it up and see what happens. Nothing wrong with that. I'm guessing the problem must be this wheel hex. Let's do that really tight and see what happens. I was holding now. Now let's try this section again with all wheels locking. I mean, it must have stripped it a bit, but it being put up tighter, it must be okay now. Here we go, let's see what this thing can do. Straight over now. Will it make it over there? Oh, still not the grip. Oh, yes, it made it. Oh. Here we've got the articulation test and it's actually doing really well over this piece. Oh, it was. I don't know what happened there. Let's try that again and see what happened. It might be where it's so long. It's quite long and low. Some think sometimes it's an advantage, sometimes a disadvantage. There, look there, look. The chassis is hanging up on it where it's long. Ah, ah, well, I think this one's gonna shine. He's on this thing here. Oh, no. Let's try a little bit slower. The only one that made it up here so far was the modified SCX24. And yes, it's making it. I'm going a bit slower, a bit more gently. Right, let's see how slow we can actually go. This is where the Fury Tech brushless system is so good. You can really, look, look how slow you can go, look. Look at that, that's still moving. Just look how slow that can go for crawling, especially for rock crawling. Let's try that on there again. If you really want to put the wheel exactly where you want it, you can go really slow. It's a bit boring to watch, but when you're the one playing with it, it is so much fun. It can go slower than that. Let's go slower, look. 
That's amazing. And it appears when it gets to a steeper bit, it automatically gives it more power. You've got to be a little bit sensitive on the throttle because when you squeeze it, it does shoot off. But we do have sensitivity adjustment, remember? So throttle dual rate, we put that all up a little bit. That's now full speed. So now you get a lot more control. It's a lot easier to go slow. So if you want to go slow, you can play about with that sensitivity knob. Now let's try it with these tires on there. And then let's give the camera car a go. Right, quickest way to get those on there. Oh, didn't work. So I just tried it, they don't fit. So I've got another Fury Tech crawler here. This one's also got bigger wheels on there. Also got the Fury Tech brushless motor in there and gearbox. It's got a carbon fibre chassis. So instead of using that one again, let's try this one. So here we go. So this one here, the same, because it's got the Fury Tech slow motor in there. Look at that. Look how slow that can go. Now the body that comes with it, it is a little bit top heavy, but that's what comes, so that's what we're going to use. However, I'm probably going to fit a polycarbonate body to it another time here we go one-handed nice and long wheel base these are not the wheels it came with it came with smaller wheels uh, i'm not sure if we're going to be able to turn this round it is long ah no we're going to hand the god it to start with let's give him half a chance now i'm going to try and see if i can make the whole entire course without any hands of god ah yeah, that was a good start. No fakery here. Whatever happens goes in the videos. Now, people do sometimes say that I'm faking it because there's lots of cuts. However, you kind of have to put lots of cuts in there. Otherwise, the video ends up being boring. And this video here, I haven't edited it yet, so I have no idea how long this video is going to be. However, if I don't put all the cuts in, it's going to be like an hour-long video. And although you guys are going to be like, oh, yeah, epic, an hour-long video... It won't be epic because it's going to be just full of boring stuff. So you have to put lots of cuts in to make it interesting. It would be a lot easier for me not to put cuts in. It normally takes me about a day or two to edit a video, sometimes longer. If I didn't put all the cuts in, it would literally take me like maybe an hour to edit the video. Right, we've got to fix the track here. Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you do it? Come on. The disadvantage of long wheelbase is sometimes when you've got obstacles like this. All right, another hand to God. Come on, you can do it. Oh, easy over that bit. Look at that. Not so easy over that bit. But that was more driver error. I can't really blame the car for that. That's more me doing it one-handed. What was that noise? Pretty fast though. Look, here we go, full power. There we go, rock crawler section, straight over. Let's see how it's gonna do this one. Oh, look at that, went over, but tumble one ball. Here we go, over the articulator, long wheel base, so you kept the chassis, but it made it. Oh, look at that, straight up. Let's make it steeper. So that was 51 degrees, let's give it a bit more. 53, oh, just doing it. Cocking a leg, but it's just doing it. Look at that. You know what would be amazing? If you could make it onto that bench. I think for it to make it onto the bench, we'd have to be about this steep. I don't think it will do it. It might though. Ah, what a man child I am, but I don't care. We're having fun and that's what the hobby is all about. Right now, let's have a look at the camera car if I can get it working. It's all charging up, fingers crossed it's gonna work. So I've got this little monitor here for the camera. I've also got these goggles and I've plugged in this battery here and an SD card in the bottom so I can record it. However, it's playing up. I don't know if I've put in too many S's. I think this is a free S. I don't know how many S's he can take. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. I don't know if I've ruined it now anyway i'll just put my camera there and film the screen hopefully it's gonna work all right boom there we go hey hey hello no idea if this is gonna work it's probably gonna fail <laughs> trouble is we can't really see where the track is oh no, no. let's navigate oh look we can get a fist under there but not this let's navigate our way around so this is where we would have right let's see if we can navigate through here otherwise we might need a hand of god I was fitting, just... Oh, look at that, we made it. Should we see how far the range is and see if we can make himself around the workshop? Oh, first obstacle. No problem, it's gone over. So over here, I'm working on my monster truck tyres. That's why we've knocked it over. It's got a puncture and I'm fixing it. So that tyre there, I've already fixed it. So I've changed that bar there on the monster. And I'm giving you clues away here for the video coming up. But if we go around here... And then turn round. I put double steering bars on the back. Look, because so I bent those before. So now there's two on there. What's in there? We're going to see a spider in there somewhere. Spider hunting. If you can see a spider anywhere, you guys comment down below at what time you can see a spider and where. There's got to be a spider in there, isn't there? 
Oh, there's a cobweb. I wonder if it make it through there. It's like a tunnel. Oh, it's really close. Really tight. No, it just doesn't fit, I think. Oh, we're in. Oh, look at those cobwebs, disgusting. Oh, look, there's a spider, we found one. Oh, there's another one. Apparently, those spiders are the most venomous spiders in the world, but they can't penetrate the human skin, so they don't actually bite. They're Comment down below, how many spiders did you see? I saw two. Let's see how covered this thing is. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at all those cobwebs. So I'm going to put a link down below where you can get some of these toys from, and I'm going to go and clean up all this mess. So subscribe and smash the bell, because subscribing is free, so why would you not? It's only one click. It's going to take you half a second. Subscribe.